It's just a tiny tunes. Can I see your face? <laughs> you have a big Sorry. mop of hair in front of your face. <laughs> Welcome to the Raw Impressions podcast, oh music related my mini spots episode, Tiny back. Tunes Tuesday. I saw that. Are you putting your lotion on it? I'm doing my lotion every as much you as You've got I your can. lotion on your face? I've got my lotion for my oh, face. Good. Lou has a. Uh, my ointment for my warts. Oh, I know. Your, your skin is exploding. What's the thing on your face again? It's a. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think I actually scratched myself at some point. I feel I have so I pay so much attention to this spot that sometimes I drive myself. I drive myself. I drive my thumb into my face right. I into drive the, my thumb into myself. I drive my thumb and I drive my thumb into myself. <laughs> so obsessed am I by this unfortunate. Oh, rosacea! Red spot. You have rosacea. That's right. Oh, yeah, I was I trying do. to remember. You got a bouquet the- of rosaceas. What the dermatologist said, I remember that was that was actually very helpful, though. And she gave you the lotion, this prescription lotion, which does actually really help uh, when you use it. I'm pretty okay with aging, but these kind of like skin conditions, that's all new to me. When I was a kid, I was oh, mercifully spared, yeah. mercifully spared. Lucky some, you. I, I was not. Some, some, but now I got now I got to pay. I was one yeah. big zit, <laughs> just ready to pop at any time. <laughs> but I have fairly clear skin now as an adult, but I you still do. get I still get zits uh, from time to time. It happens, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't care as much anymore. It's probably why. Yeah, I care more, so I get more, and you care less, <laughs> so you get less. There it is. Mm. Mystery of life, everyone. I don't think I'm going to have time to get my my bangs trimmed. I'm just going to have to come visit you and pick you up in Los Angeles with these long, crazy bangs that they're desperate you for really, a hair you really, appointment. You really struggle with bangs, and I just never. I'm like, they look good. I mean, I because long, once short, they go. I don't. I actually don't know how. It's a maintenance issue for you. For you, it's actually like they get in the, the your line of sight. Yes, they bother you. And I think That's it's a logistic. little bit of a sensory thing too, because the way it touches and feels on my eyelid, I mm. noticed bothers me. There you go. So do it for you. I like to have them at least touching my eyebrow, not below. And now they're below. And I don't know how Zoe Deschanel does it, but that girl is the queen of the long curtain bang. I I don't know. God bless. My hair, I mean, is in my, but my hair is in my face all the time. I've been performing at the arenas with my hair in my face. Yeah. And you so kind of I've been, I've been not washing it because Ew. when I wash it, it gets much harder to see through my hair, through the thicket. I love it when your hair is washed, though. It looks so cute. It's really hard. It's hard to manage when I'm playing. Is it? During a live performance. Yes. Hmm. It gets in my way. Maybe you and I can both make appointments at the lift when you're back and we go get our hair done from Jackie. Let's do it together. Let's do yeah. everything that we can together in the time that I'm home. 100%. I'm yeah. everything from morning till night together <laughs> for the two or three weeks you're home. I'm in a hotel room in Ashland, Oregon. And right outside my window, there's a big, like, California-style hillside right there. One of those brown hillsides, you know. Cause Does it have little, like, cute balls of, like, shrub-type things yep. on it? And, it looks, nice. looks to be the case, yes. Cool. So. And you're going to play a song for us because it's Tiny Tunes Tuesday. Yep. I was going to play a version of Garden, but I pretty much destroyed my voice over the last... Oh. Every night, every one of these shows, I absolutely shred my vocals without any, without a care. Because you're giving it your all. I'm giving it my all. I yeah. really am. I'm, there are some, I'm doing, I'm shredding, shredding my vocal cords. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a version of Garden. So what are you going to do? I'm going to, you know, I'm writing songs. So I thought it probably would be a good idea to just throw some lyrics onto an idea that I have and sing it because I need to know whether it's a complete ripoff 
of something else that I've done. It could very well be a slight rearrangement of something that I've already recorded and released. Okay. But because I'm in the midst of writing it, I become enamored with the, the song and it, the song becomes my world. And then I can, you can become oblivious to the fact that you're just basically repeating yourself mercilessly. Yep. So I thought maybe you're, you've got a good ear for stuff like this. I sure do. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you tell me that some of my songs sound the same. And I'm like, really? I think I thought they sounded really different. And you're like, they're fucking the same. <laughs> Duh. But uh, yeah. So before that, go, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I should just start playing this stuff as quick as I can. And, 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 the, and the, uh, the, as close to a, just put it into form and, and play it for you so we, we can figure out whether this is something that I need to drastically alter to make it something a little more creative and more okay. of a, a, a pleasant addition to my discography or whether I bag the whole thing all together. Okay. I'm ready. Anyway, I'm going to play this in my very familiar skip, my very familiar oh, strum. Yes. I got to because that's how I write. The, it has the most like locomotion when I write. Okay. I'm already hearing hear, like five of your other songs, I, I, but yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Man so, on sorry i was just gonna say i'm having Whoa. a major apocalypse fetish flashback but go oh. ahead oh go god ahead. Oh, oh no the road has started you're gonna lead right. it's gonna lead right to the song i'm ripping off oh no let me get this one out then because this could be the only performance <laughs> i'm gonna sh shut it and you play this is it okay. this is, could be the only performance of this song met on a mountainside where it's brown and dry But so beautiful The way we are Still a mystery Deep in the heart of we But I'm not the one To, to be afraid I don't need an answer every day And you don't have to say another thing Often it is best to drift away But leave a string Cause I follow you From the black to blue Down a mountainside Inside our home I don't need the answer every day And you don't have to say another thing Often it is best to drift away But leave a string or something I can find sound like just deliver it give give it to me doctor it, give it to me what is what song does it sound exactly like <laughs> uh, <sighs> I, I don't think i i think it doesn't actually once you started playing it oh great and, okay 
And I, I, right away, what I kept thinking is, oh, this has legs. Oh, good. It's good because so, I really like the, I came up I with really the melody. Like I like the melody mm-hmm. and I started fleshing out the melody and then I added a chorus and I started to become a little bit obsessed with it. And then I was like, oh, I think you're boy, onto I, something. Mm-hmm. I better like, I better just clear the, I better clear I better just do it now and clear it, you know? Clear the initial <laughs> stage. It's like stage one. Stage one. I, I will I'll give you the check. I think that you can keep <laughs> stage going. One. Yeah. And uh I yeah. It's really um there can be a really high vocal in it too. I didn't mm-hmm, do it because mm-hmm. I can't reach it, but it's like but it could mm-hmm. be like I don't need the mm-hmm. answers every day. You know what I mean? Like that? Yes, 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 yes. And you don't have to say another thing. I know, like that. I do. Which could be effective. Wow. That would be really good. That's a great idea. I like that. The idea of a high. Could you do a. I could God. switch off actually on the choruses, maybe. Yeah. Know. But a, a recording it would be really simple. If I did like a recording, it would be really easy to layer it and it would probably sound very rich. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I I was like, I got to I should just I should just put lyrics on this thing now because I can mm-hmm. really fret about lyrics a lot. I can really fret about them and spend a lot of time it. rearranging them. And I'm like, I don't know. There's a mountain outside my window. Just fucking describe it. Those Oof. lyrics are. Uh, they sound like you've been working on them for months. No, I came. <laughs> I did them. <laughs> I did them perfectly about ten. honest. <laughs> I did, did them in those, about 10 minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I wanted to be ready for the wow. kind of <laughs> I, I would <laughs> never have guessed that. I, that to me, it seems like a labored poem. I mean, in a, in the best way, like it seems so thoughtful. Like, so I think that also is a good thing. That means that it flowed. It was like you were in a zone. It flowed. I mean, didn't you tell me that you wrote like, some of your most popular oh, yeah. songs, like Furiously, Fast and Furiously, they, yeah, just, they just came, came. to you. And I was like, I was in, a, I was doing a podcast with that guy from Touche Amore because they, this guy, I, I don't want to describe the band, but they're kind of a punk, you know, emo mm-hmm. band, really very passionate band. And the guy, um, Jeremy, wrote a song that incorporated the, the chorus of brand new love in it. And he kind of sings about brand new love, but it's his song, but it's, he very cleverly put them together and asked me to sing brand new love on the chorus parts. And it sounds really cool. And he asked me in his podcast, he's like, I mean, have you, do, have you changed those lyrics at all? Or how did they evolve? And I'm like, they just came out <laughs> like one day, one day, mm-hmm. you know, July 4th, mm-hmm. 1986. Wow. You know, yeah, I do know. And they just I came mean, out quick. Well, all, most most of my really soul and fire. It's all just all the all those right. are all kind of like that. I do love working on lyrics, though. I love like figuring out perfect lyrics for things, and I did that a lot on the last full complosion record. And I really that's what enjoyed, I mean. I know that you I can really process. get into it, you know. And I, I, so that's why to me it sounded like something maybe you've been working on and and um, fiddling with for a while. But well, I, I don't really know. This, yeah, I don't know what this, this song is is about. So I just started writing, and then I think, I mean, I think I know I know what it's about, and mm-hmm. you know, and it's kind of an important thing to sing mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. So. I, I, yeah, I feel it. And I think that it's got it. It's got it. You should follow it. Follow that song. There's a line in that song you just um, sang that said something like we're, we're in the ring, you know, and it's sort of mm-hmm. like the the circle, right? It's like we've come back. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought of that just before we started recording. <laughs> it's amazing. I was like, ring, oh, mm. ring. I mean, I'm just trying to think of what what connects us so deeply, not just you and I, but like us okay. to our family. Us, to, I mean, it's just amazing how you can feel what they feel thousands of miles away. It, yes, it's unbelievable. So, hmm. well, that's the end because it's, that's the end, folks. <laughs> we're end. we're not going <laughs> to do a half an hour right now. No. no. <laughs> Raw impressions.